and I'm Josh. Josh and Sarah. And today we are going to be unboxing this resin. Yeah, we're going to be using this resin kit today. And looks like we're also going to be fixing one of Daddy's. Daddy's. Well, so we're going to go ahead and open what's uh, open this. So let's go and see what's inside. So inside we have three of these what look like funnels. Yeah, from the packaging, it looks like it is new. Yes. Uh, your bubble wrap with, in, and inside of the bubble wrap, um, let me just take this out real Wait, quick. It isn't looks there like resin there is. Where's the resin mold? Well, no, I think we have the resin molds already, but we just need to do this up. We have the UV resin, mm -hmm. some more UV resin, UV and resin. some more UV resin. So we have three bottles mm -hmm. of the UV resin. And yeah, so this is what one of them looks like. One hundred grams of it. Looks and like it. the instructions. Right, instructions. Okay. So for the instructions, all we need to do is well, all it really tells us is Open we, uh, the how lamp. long it takes to cure. So in a U with a UV lamp, it's going to take about sixty to eighty seconds. In the sunlight, it's going to take two to four minutes on a sunny day. With the U and, and cold. yes, and with a UV lamp that is 36 watts, it's going to take 50 to 70 seconds. And on a cloudy day, it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. So it's not really the longest amount of time. So, so it's actually I pretty think good. you just Pretty much. And so guys, what this is, so the difference between this type of resin and a UV, uh, the UV resin and a normal type of resin because is that a UV resin needs a special light. Yes, and it needs a special light to like cure. For a few minutes and then it's dry. Yeah, it takes a, a lot, sh it takes a lot shorter amount of time to cure than a normal type of resin because the normal type of resin let's say like the ones that we made the other time it that took about like overnight sometimes up to three days but with these it takes about a minute to cure and they also use these for jewelry um, nails and other stuff like that so we're going to be trying to fix that these cross with it because it's a jewelry yes it's jewelry so well yeah so let's go ahead and fix it Alright guys, so as you can see, it is all stuck, and yeah, this is what it looks like. And again, this is the BS Resin UV Resin, and yeah, I think it's a really good product. And you got, you can get this at Dollar Tree by Cookie Yeah, so we got this off of Amazon, right? We can ask Amazon. Yeah, so we got this off of Amazon, so we're going to be leaving the link in the description down below. And if you want to fix like a problem with jewelry, you can get this. So guys, the good thing about this is that it doesn't only need to. It's not only made for fixing jewelry. It can also be used to make jewelry. So for example, let's say that this you piece of jewelry. Well, Let's say that you want to add like some sort of diamond inside of the jewelry. What you can do is you can actually use this type of resin to stick it, no, to keep the jewelry in place, and then you pour the other type of resin. And then you have to use this. But you can actually just use like cold water. Yeah. So well, uh, the the UV water. the UV light. You don't really necessarily have to have a UV light for you uh, uh, to use it. You can, you can use also it. use the sun because like the sun emits a lot of 
the ultraviolet light, which can also reach the surface of the Earth. So, we can, but if you also have one, you can also use those um and it also, those UV lights that you use to cover your nails when you get them done. And also, when it's it even comes working cold weather, not like the other ones, it's like you have to do it when it's hot. All right, man. If you have something sort of like this, please put that in the comments down, down below. below. And if you like this video, please subscribe button down, down below. below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.